The one thing that always amazes me as I look at myself and what God has called me to, who would have thought that a little chocolate guy from the South Bronx in New York City would get to know the God of the universe personally, who formed me, who breathed life into me, and who walks with me every day. I come from a long, long line of Christ servants. Uh, my grandfather was a deacon. My mother was a gospel recording artist. So th this is all I know. I only know service to God. My grandfather was just always like, God mattered. He's probably outside of Christ, the best man I ever knew because he kept Christ at the forefront of his life. I was given the, the Christ building blocks for life. You serve. We just never came to church to sit in the pew. We came to get busy and to serve. But I went to church because honestly, I was made to. That's what we did. A lot of the greatest Michael Jordan moments I missed uh, because I was at church. And But here's the, the caveat to that. All of my friends were also in church. So uh, if I had not been at church, I would have been missing out on all my friends. So looking back over my life, I was where I was supposed to be. But my mother and her parents passed away within 41 days of each other. I was hurt, like I'd never been hurt in my life before. And I'm just gonna be honest, as much as I did not want to go to church after my mother's death and after my grandparents' death, I mean, I was very surly in joy. I didn't have that, I couldn't access it. I didn't wanna be around anybody. I was leaving early and uh, I wasn't taking communion. You know, my question was, God, where are you? I was very angry. I was very hurt. And uh, I, I didn't understand why. And then they were gone. And I was here. He, he gave me the Job moment. He was like, um, I'd have left. If you'd be quiet for a minute, you'd hear me. My heart was like, um, you're talking just to me. My soul was hurt. But God was like, I'm right here. I haven't left and you're equipped to live on past this. God's boat is always bigger than the number of people that he's inviting into it. As I say to the fellas, I'm like, get in the boat, let's start rowing. Believe me, in this broken world, there's gonna come a time when you're not gonna be able to row. And we as your brothers, and in a, broader, in a broader sense, we as the body of Christ will row for you. And then, sure as I'm sitting here, sure, sure as I'm speaking, there's going to come a time when none of us are able to row. And the boat is going to continue to move because guess who's rowing? Christ. And, and that's, that's the hope. That's the promise. That's who he is. It's a task that only he can do.